Wanted to check in on Friday here. Hope that you're having a good day and that you've had a very blessed week. We finished up recording the two sermons for the Lord's Day just a little while ago. Uh, in the morning lesson, we are going to be looking at Joel chapter 2, verses 12 through 17, finishing up the first half of the book and really the section of that prophecy that relates to the day of the Lord as a day of judgment. In this final unit, uh, Joel, the prophet, elaborates on what repentance ought to look like, how it should be conducted, and uh, the way in which the people of God should be humble uh, on the day of calamity and draw near to the Lord, knowing that He is gracious and merciful and will draw near to them as well. In the lesson that we have appointed for that afternoon or evening, we're going to be looking from uh, Hebrews chapter 4, verses 1 and 2, and also in verse 11, at the exhortation of the Hebrews writer concerning the danger of apostasy. Now, in previous studies, we've talked some about the nature of apostasy, uh, thinking about how to understand that as a theological category, looking at some of the major passages that uh, speak to this danger in the New Testament. We're going to touch on that, maybe have a brief review at the beginning of the lesson, but primarily uh, on the Lord's Day evening, I want to focus with you not on the nature of apostasy as a, as a spiritual or theological phenomenon, but rather on the experiential aspects of apostasy. Why is it that so many uh, Christians who profess faith in Christ and seem to have evidences of genuine conversion, why is it that so many of them over time renounce their faith, walk away from the Lord, depart the church, and reunite with the world. Uh, why does that happen? How does it happen? And then what can we learn from that and do in order to guard ourselves against that danger? So those are the two lessons that we have appointed for this Lord's Day uh, on Saturday evening at 6 p.m. You should expect to receive an email uh, with worship orders for both morning and evening on the Lord's Day to uh, use either in your private worship or uh, with your family at home. Uh, common prayers, common readings, common hymns that we can sing together in praise to our God. And then the lessons that are provided will go live on the Lord's Day on YouTube and Sermon Audio Hope that you're looking forward to that. Hope that as you pray and prepare for the Lord's Day, that God will make that day a great blessing to you. We love you and continue to pray for you. Talk to you soon.